Hi, I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about the SA Investigator for ES applet that was created on Splunk Base. This is a demonstration of some of the functionality that you'd find in that app. So if I'm in the incident review screen in a, inside of Enterprise Security, I can go ahead and take a look at a specific event. And as I scroll down through that event, I can go ahead and see a number of pieces of context around it. Now, my specific asset internally is the one that I'm most concerned about. And in this case, I want to go ahead and pivot down on that to learn more about that asset and what's happening on it. So I can go ahead and create a workflow action and click on this. And this is part of the SA investigator. And it will take me to a set of views within Splunk that allow me to go ahead and interrogate the specific asset in question. Now, if I wanted to go back to a specific time that I was investigating, I could go ahead and click on the date range, go back and select a specific date, a time of interest, apply that, and then go ahead and run my search. By doing that, I can go ahead and see, in this case, the network traffic that I have and start seeing this information by source, by destination, where the asset is the source or the destination, the amount of information in traffic, as well as counts in megabytes and in uh, volume of alerts or events. I could also go ahead and look at this from an endpoint perspective and say this asset is involved in what kind of endpoint actions, whether they be audit or endpoint changes, such as changes to the registry, or changes from an account management perspective, such as user accounts were changed using Windows event logs and be able to look at that information as well. If I'm investigating, I want to go further as well to understand more about the authentication attempts going on to the system. So in this example, we don't have a lot of authentication attempts, but we do have a couple of successes. And drilling down further, I can also start looking at the asset itself that initiated the authentication. And I can see where it started, where it ended, and what the user was that went ahead and looked at it. And if I scroll through my list of users, and the source users associated with it, this shows me a number of different kinds of logins that I can potentially see. Now, I notice down here, I've got a service account that's logging in. I find that interesting, and I want to go ahead and drill in on that. I can click on the service account, and it will actually pivot me into an investigation view using that service account and searching that time frame. And again, I can take my identity details that are in the asset identity framework and show that. If I had any notables associated with it, I could look at that as well. If I wanted to understand what kinds of change requests I had associated with that service account, I could go ahead and look at that as well. And in here, you'll notice I've got successes uh, around create modifies. And then I also have some details around the source user where I can start looking at this and I can start seeing things like the accounts were changed, who they were changed by, on which workstation they were changed as well. So as we're looking at our processes within the service of three count, I can go ahead and look at those different processes that are being kicked off over time. Now, I do see a tremendous amount of, uh, what is this? This is, let me zoom in here so you can see it. A tremendous amount of wevtutil.exe accounts going on but I do see a couple of subtle little bumps along the way here in addition to that. So I want to actually zoom in and see what's all the stuff that happened before that big spike. And if I zoom in on that, I can start seeing some other kinds of events happening. Some of those examples include some PowerShell, some FTP, and some scheduled tasks amongst others. Now, I can also see some of that detail here down below as I scroll through as to what's firing off. Let me take a look at FTP, though. If I click on FTP, it'll actually drill down into uh, the raw logs for FTP. And you can see basically what I'm doing is I'm looking through the data model for the application state and returning any of the identities associated with service three and looking for that specific process of FTP in our time frame. If I scroll down here and expand on this, I can go ahead and see my Sysmon data running on a specific server. 
running uh, with the command of ftp.exe. And as I scroll down here below, I can see the parent command line was a PowerShell command that looks like it's encrypted. So that might be something of concern that I want to go a little bit farther with. And I can see that the service three user was the one that, that uh, was running in context here. If I scroll down to my next event as well, I can see a second event happening, this time on a different host, but running the same uh, command line and also seeing PowerShell running uh, as part of that. So it looks like I've got to get my work cut out for me, but it does provide some greater insight into what I have inside of my enterprise security instance and what's happening with this specific service account. I hope this overview is helpful uh, and provides some better insight as to how the SA investigator can be used in the context of Splunk Enterprise Security. Thanks.